I'm Lieutenant Dangle, or wait, am I a member of the village people? I can't remember. Anyway, it's Halloween and this is DT Daily. Coming up, a driver wearing Google Glass runs afoul of the law, some scary news for Windows XP users, and an insect-like flying robot that bounces its way through the haunted woods. Google announced this week that all Glass explorers are going to be allowed to both trade in their current eyewear for a newer model and invite three friends along to be Glass explorers. In that fun? The new headset they'll all be getting looks a lot like the old one, with one noticeable difference. Google added an earbud on the right side. Battery life is said to be improved, and they will also be compatible with future lines of shades and prescription frames. Now the bad news for all those little Google Glass explorers. In California, wearing glass while driving is illegal. One of my donut-eating brethren pulled over a glassware for speeding on Tuesday night, and along with the citation for driving over 65, he gave the driver a ticket for distracted driving because having a video device in sight while driving is illegal in California. Now, obviously drivers are allowed to use GPS devices. So would telling the officer she was using glass for directions help? Well, I usually let chicks off with a warning, but only if they're hot. <laughs> yeah. There's a rather large contingent of Windows XP users out there still hanging on to that 12 year old operating system. And Microsoft is painting a rather gruesome picture of what will happen when it stops offering updates for XP in April of 2014. The latest security intelligence report issued by Microsoft reveals that in addition to XP being considerably less secure than Vista, Windows 7, and Windows 8, it will be ridiculously easy for hackers to attack XP machines once updates are no longer offered. That's because future patches offered for Vista, which is similar to XP, will tip off hackers to new vulnerabilities. Hackers will then reverse engineer the updates, create malware, and see if it affects Windows XP. So, the bottom line here is, unless you want your machine to be possessed by demons, upgrade ASAP. Flying insects are tough little buggers. I should know. I crash into them all the time with my cruiser and they just bounce off and keep on going. And that's the inspiration behind this nearly crash-proof flying robot called the Gimbal. It's been designed by a group of Swiss robotics engineers to be a lightweight and rugged autonomous flying machine. Instead of carrying a heavy array of sensors to help it avoid objects, it has a simple carbon fiber frame that allows it to pretty much just bounce off everything. Its gyroscopically balanced flying mechanism can be controlled remotely or programmed to follow a magnetic compass heading on its own. One advantage of the design is that it can easily operate in tight spaces and smoke-filled rooms making it ideal for search and rescue, or scaring the living daylights out of little punk trick-or-treaters. <laughs> yeah, and that's DT Daily for today. Have a happy Halloween, and we'll see y'all tomorrow.